It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through. And it takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course, forces longer passes through the aerial route. So all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. So it's away we go then. A heavy challenge. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. That's the throw. Played into space out wide. Gets up to head it! Just brushed off the ball there. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. Uh, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, both sides seem happy with the patient approach for now, still trying to have a good look at one another. Beautifully done. Tony Kroos. No change to the score, nil-nil it remains. Well, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Hoists it forward. Tony Kroos. Alaba. Modric. And it's played forward. Plays it over to the other flank. Tries to get it forward quickly. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Modric. Modric. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Precious little by way of goal mouth action yet. And that has been cleared. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. It's come loose. Oh, that is asking for trouble. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. It'll be a throw-in. Modric. Tony Kroos. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes?
Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, nil-nil. So we're already into the second period. Real Madrid clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Modric. And here's Benzema. Benzema! Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Benzema gets it back. Vinicius, Vinicius Junior! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. That's what all good teams do these days. Pressing from the front is highly effective. Forward it goes. Oh, no question, that's a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Modric looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Well, they know he's the root of potential problems, Peter, and they seem intent on uprooting that problem like that. Shakhtar Donetsk have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. And it's played forward. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Kroos with a long pass. Vinicius Junior is onto it and can take it up. And it's Modric. It's Modric! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Modric usually is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can, though. Shakhtar Donetsk making another change here. Alaba, Vinicius Junior. He's got the ball, he's going for goal! In it goes! All goals are welcome, but when they come at a time like that, they're priceless. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Look, I just think they've kept at it and got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver.
And here's Benzema. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Gets into some space. Repelled by the keeper. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Now it's Benzema. He's pinged one through here. And he's shown him a clean... Big shot has a hit! Sticks it away! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! And that really is so, so impressive. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Two up and very little time left. Shh. And there goes the final whistle. Real Madrid claim victory here and on balance they were worth it. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Yeah, and a result that was true to form. A big team beating a, a not-so-big team and a lesson dealt. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask you to join me.